Descend! <laughs> oh, I love the raccoon. It's so cute. Do you think that's supposed to be a raccoon or a tanuki? I mean, it's probably a tanuki. I was assumed it was a raccoon, but now that I know what a tanuki is and what it looks like, it's probably a tanuki. Yeah. That's... okay. <laughs> well, yeah. welcome to uh, Kirby and the Crystal Shards again. I'm Evan. I'm Kate. I'm the tall twin. I'm the small twin, and uh, oh. I was gonna say Evan is a hamster, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. No. There. Yeah, this is... this is pretty... it's pretty egregious. Yeah, so... Just a... Just a, a leisurely walk. To the right. <laughs> In the bottom of the ocean. I'm just gonna hold right for a bit, and uh, you can. Yeah. Let me know if you have any. I'll be honest. This is how I played this game when I was, you know, seven. I'll just turn on rock and cutter. Hey, can you can you hold right for a bit? <laughs> Where am I? Just like hold on this. Thanks. Wear my invincible stone coat and just uh, take a nice stroll through the level. Gotta watch out for cannons and gordos, Thanks. but that's about it. Yep. I care not for your rocks. So yeah, so, as I was saying, child soldier Kirby. <laughs> All right. What were you saying about Child Soldier Kirby? Well, like, if... So you know how we have, like, Red Sun Superman? Uh... Do you know that? No. Okay, there's a... <laughs> there's a... Comic, you I think. You assume I, I'm, too much. <laughs> whatever. I mean, I, I haven't read it either anyway, so... But it is my understanding that there is a... A version of Superman in a issue that is called Red Sun, and that name's great because it is if Superman landed in Russia. All right. So you know Superman's association with suns and uh, his weakness to the suns that are, are red in particular, and also he's Russian now. Okay. So he's red. Red Sun Superman. It's Communist Superman. He has a weakness to red stars? Oh, you didn't know that either. Okay. Well, my one weakness a whole. Oh, we can be less less slow now. <laughs> so... Yeah, but so, our star is yellow, so that's fine, right? Yeah, no, yellow stars are good. It, like, gives is him power. Is the home star of his original planet a red star? I think it might have been. I, like, don't... Don't count me on that, and please don't send me lots of angry emails telling... Yes, our zero viewers, please don't bombard us with with angry emails. Oh wow, the owl is like really good for this. On the email addresses that we do not have publicly posted. But we will. Will we? Well, I mean, of course. I mean... We've got an Instagram, or not Instagram, my god, Twitter. <laughs> I just said Instagram because the last time I was talking about social media, it was Instagram. Uh, I, I mean, I think having an email would be a good idea. People contact us. But, uh, That's what the Twitter is for! Okay. And there's always the YouTube comments. <laughs> oh. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, there we go. Watch out for Gordos. On that topic, what if Kirby was like raised in somewhere less, uh, less idyllic <laughs> than Popstar? What if, what if Kirby crash landed in like? Um, I don't want to like offend offend the people in the third world countries who are watching. Some like place with, with uh. Go on, Evan. I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> where is this thought going? With like child soldiers, and uh, that would be, that would have 
less moral standards than the Avengers would in not trying to get K Kirby to, uh... I'm not really sure where this train of thought is supposed to be leading. Well, I'm a hamster now. <laughs> I was just sort of wondering, like, if Kirby was in a setting that was less cheerful, how that would, how you think that would affect Kirby's development? And Kirby like... is made of pure goodness and happiness. Yeah. You cannot corrupt him. Do you think, do you think Kirby's pure nature is, is a nature thing, not not a nurture thing? Yes, I I think that Kirby is made out of goodness and and love and love and you can trick him but you cannot you cannot corrupt him. Corrupt Kirby is incorruptible. Yes. He's incorruptible. Yeah, wow. He's... This uh this rock was was the way to go and I am a good. fool. <laughs> Or thinking otherwise. Well, it's okay. You got it on. Got it on the second try. I think one of the benefits of being rock form is if a gar Gordo does touch you, you just yeah. roll. Man, I don't remember what that hamster's name is. Isn't his name Rick? But evidently you do. <laughs> I might be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure its name was Rick. But it is slow. I, I like him though. He's cute. He's a hamster. Yeah, no, he's good. And he can climb when he's not in water. The bomb fish. Is anything? Right, and the the threat of this boss fight is you're just being pushed into the bomb fish. Oh no! But if you're just if you use one of the inv invincibility powers, then it's just like okay. Oh no! What if I get pushed into the bomb fish? What then? I kind of thought there was a star, a shard in here. Yeah. I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. You call them stars. I mean, they turn into bluish stars if you return to the area. Oh, good. I got the <laughs> the fast one. Ugh. Oh God, there's rocks. Oh god! The rocks cannot compete with your Dancer, iron, your iron hard rock. bod. Yeah. Well, all those rocks are just made out of like paper mache. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the reason they do damage to you is because it's still like it's harder than Kirby's soft, malleable body. No, what I was gonna say is because it's still like damp, and if you've ever touched. <laughs> like fresh, oh. wet paper mache. It then will physically like <laughs> drain the life force from you. <laughs> Which sure makes making sculptures out of paper mache a bit of an ordeal. I mean, it is a bit of an ordeal. I I was I was agreeing with you. <laughs> that is, I I think a significant part of the reason why. Even though I was always like an artistic child, uh, you know, I was always like, oh, but I'm not really into like crafts. Because like I just crafts like lessons was always like, here, let's here, let's, let's make this thing out of paper mache. Hope you love itchy fingers. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, I don't think rock and cutter is the power for this though. Please no. No, you want like the oh. lightning yo-yo or something. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay. I was thinking like bomb and cutter. Oh uh, yeah, that would work too. Bomb and cutter is pretty useful for boss fights in general. But the lightning yo-yo is pretty solid. 
Well, let's try Bomb and Cutter and see if I'm... <laughs> see if, if you're competent enough <laughs> to, yeah. to have it get you there. The boss for because... this planet is just a big orca. Because I'm too casual. What is his deal? He's just a rude dude. Because I'm I'm too casual. Hey. <laughs> God damn it. Spit a gordo at me, will you? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Body slam. <laughs> He's thick. Ah! <laughs> Kirby veterans watching this feel he's like, so, get out of the way! He's so fucking thick that he broke the entire sea floor. I can't believe Aqua's fucking dead. Is that his name? Pretty sure. This planet is Aqua Star, isn't it? Is he like the emperor of the entire planet? Maybe. He's fucking pissed now. This level's fucking stressful. Sinking to my death. Oh, now it's not sinking quite as fast, that's... Can you not shoot missiles at me, please? <laughs> he's such a chubby little whale, though. Look how <laughs> he's just shaped like a little football. like a friend. No, that's Kirby. <laughs> Kirby is friend shape, but there are other shapes that are also Ooh, little swim. friend shapes. Ah, he did a little wave. But this time, this time Kirby will have the last laugh. <laughs> Kirby will skip his stone the furthest. Alright, guys. You get him, Kirby. Yeah, they're just... uh-oh. They just uh. fucking left him there. Can you believe this shit? <laughs> Can you believe that they just abandoned him to his fate? And then they're like, Yo, Kirby, are you coming? What a bunch of rude dudes. Alright, well, I guess... I guess we'll do Neo Star next time. Alright. I think See this is gonna be the end of this playthrough, probably. Okay, yeah. Gonna do something else. And, uh, I'm sure we'll come back to this later. So yeah. we'll see all you guys next time. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, I sure did. Bye. Bye. <laughs>